I'm gonna get changed into my gown right here. Mm. I can't believe this is happening, you guys. What? Insane. Part two. Hi guys, I am so so excited to be filming this video. But yes, the title says um we are having a baby. Oh my goodness. Um yeah, it's been an amazing 39 weeks. I'm currently 39 weeks today, and I did have a scheduled or I do, I did, because I'm here. I have a scheduled induction and I've been here maybe for like three hours now. We got here at 9:30. It is currently 12:30 a.m and i just got my first dose of cytotech maybe like 35 minutes ago and um when i had my doctor's appointment earlier this week i was only which is like two days ago well not technically but like we got here was friday and i had my doctor's appointment wednesday i was only one centimeter dilated and even today when i came in i was still only one centimeter dilated so they started me on cytotech and they say they're gonna do that for like every three hours um, just to kind of like soften and like you know ripen my my cervix and then if I get to three centimeters dilated then they're gonna um, move me on over to Pitocin to kind of get the dilation going and yeah my back hurts really bad I'm gonna try to take a nap just because I know how busy it can get sometimes and I don't want to feel like super sleep deprived even though I probably am going to be. Uh, I was feeling a little bit anxious so I don't know how it's going to work with like the sleep but I'm still going to turn off the lights here in a second and try to take a nap. Uh, she said she was going to come back and put in my next dose like around 2 o'clock so that gives me about like an hour and a half to sleep. Yeah so... I'm gonna do that and I've already mentioned this induction was at 39 weeks. I got induced for my first pregnancy as well. This is my second baby that I'm having this time around. Uh, for my first one, I was 40 weeks and three or four days, I believe. And even for that one, like even though I was like over my due date, I still wasn't dilated anything past one centimeter. It took me kind of a while, honestly, to even get to like six centimeters. Like that labor was 30 hours in total and it was very long. I wasn't allowed to like eat or drink anything other than like ice chips and popsicles which I had plenty of but I was still like really thirsty and I feel like because my labor was so long I ended up being like really really tired this time around I am so glad the bright side is that I am able to have water and like broth and jello I think they say it and even like popsicles so I'm feeling a little bit better about that and hopefully I won't be too tired and weak but honestly my biggest prayer is that like this labor goes by a lot, a lot quicker because 30 hours is a long time and I was just so tired and even though like me actually pushing her out was only like three minutes I labored for so long that I was just so tired and out of it by the time the baby was here and I hope that doesn't happen this time and I hope my body remembers that we've done this before and that it goes by quicker so that's honestly like my number one prayer obviously other than the fact that like I want both baby and I to be safe and I've prayed about that. I was so anxious before we got here, honestly. And when I got here, I actually kind of got excited because I just, I was like, oh shoot, like we're actually doing this. I'm having another baby. And then the excitement set in. So now I feel like I'm really excited. I'm obviously, I'm still like anxious because childbirth is not a joke. And delivery kind of scares me a little bit, especially like the recovery. It hurts, you know? But yeah, I'm being very hopeful and optimistic that everything goes okay. It's all I can afford to do right now is just have faith that my prayers are going to be answered because I can't afford anything else, you guys. And for the level of anxiety that I had earlier today, like, I just, I can't afford to be stressed right now. And I want to be not so stressed for both me and baby. So, yeah. I'm feeling so much better now. The excitement has actually set in. I'm like, oh my gosh, we're actually in a hospital room about to have our baby, which is so crazy to me. We prayed for this baby, and I'm so glad baby's almost here, and I'm really happy about it. So I just took off my makeup because I had makeup when we first got here. I had kept it on from earlier. I got home from like all the out errands. We had like dinner, and then we rushed home, packed up a few like last minute stuff. And I kept my makeup on and like still took a shower just so I would feel fresh and then I don't know when's the next time I'm going to take a shower. But I kept my makeup on just because I knew I was going to be vlogging. Which I took a vlog clip with like my makeup on but I didn't like what that clip looked like so I refilmed it. But I've already taken all my makeup off because I cannot lay down on a white pillow 
with makeup on like it would actually drive me insane so it's all off and i'm just gonna see if i can take it down now so i'll catch back up with you guys soon Hello, my name is Simon Ursa Nesta. This is lovely to see you today. Thank you all for being here. We appreciate y'all. Thank you. Uh, and uh, uh, I can do your uh, epidural here. Uh, do you have any questions or concerns about the procedure? Okay. It is a very safe procedure that we expect to work well for your labor pain with really no risk to you or your baby. This is my consent for anesthesia. Your initial there indicates that we're going to do an epidural versus some other kind of anesthesia procedure. And then your signature on the top line gives me permission to place it. And then we'll give you local anesthetic to it for your labor pain. Excellent. Thank you so much. So I'm going to be over there. Let's get you a stool. So if you want to stand up, we're going to move your bottom over here.
Hi, um, it's been a minute since I came on here and actually spoke to the camera. I have recorded like some footage after the last time I sat down and was speaking to you guys, but <laughs> I don't even know where to begin because it's just so crazy because I was watching the last clip that I shot and I was just talking about the next steps that were going to happen for my induction and things just kind of hit the fan. and. I just think it's so crazy because really, I know a lot of people will talk about how unpredictable childbirth is, but until things start happening to you, you sometimes you don't really believe it. And obviously, I feel like for a lot of people, when you're going to have a baby, you have plans and expectations that things will go a certain way and you hope that they go a certain way, but you never really know which is what happened in this case. So obviously, like I said before, um, I had a scheduled induction, which was going as planned <laughs> until it didn't. So I'm going to do like an in-depth video, kind of just talking about what happened, everything that went wrong. I don't know if I want to do that in this video just because it's kind of like a long story. So I'm going to do a separate story time video for that. But today is our last full night and full day at the hospital. And we get to go home tomorrow and I'm so excited that I get to take home a healthy baby and that I am healthy and we get to recover from home and I just really miss my other baby as well so I'm happy to be going home tomorrow but yeah I like I'm looking back now and I'm like thinking about it and it's just it's just so insane everything that happened I did get some footage of like my c-section and I'm also going to include uh, notes on the screen if you haven't seen those already this far about like what was happening next and what happened after I spoke to you guys the last time. So yeah, that's pretty much where we're at now. Ready to go home tomorrow. Just resting. My pain is like on and off. I'm um, taking pain medication so it's like being managed. It does get bearable and better after like medication and I've been able to walk around. I walked around twice today so I'm really happy about that. And we're hoping to go take like one more walk and i'm over here the baby's actually next to me i think she's a bit hungry my male cousin fully come in which of course i had like my reduction so i'm actually doing pretty okay considering um 
I could have been like zero milk supply. I'm supplementing with like donor breast milk that the hospital is providing for us, so I'm really grateful for that. Baby's next to me right now. I think she's getting a little hungry, so I'm just waiting for some milk from the nursery. And then I'm going to feed her her dinner. It's almost 9 o'clock. And, you know, it's like baby. So we're doing this like every three hours now. Um, I'm tired. Of course, like sleep deprived. But I am really, really happy. Weirdly, I'm not going to say. I mean, it's not that weird that I'm happy. But like, you know, just sleep deprived. But I'm really, really happy. Like, sleep deprivation aside. So... I'm about to eat dinner. This is our last dinner we're having, our celebration meal. Um, my husband took like a clip of our food, if you saw that earlier in the video. So that's what we're about to eat right now. Um, I took some medication maybe like an hour and a half ago. And it's making me a little bit loopy, so if I seem a bit, you know, slow moving and slow speaking, that's why. So we're about to have dinner and I'll talk to you guys later. And I'm also really excited to edit this video. And it's very emotional, honestly. Like, I was seeing some clips that my husband took, and I can't even believe that's what happened. And I can't believe, like, <laughs> yeah, I really just can't believe it. But I'm really, really excited and grateful. Nonetheless, I just, I love being a mom. I love being a mom to my kids. I love our baby already. I'm so glad she's here and that she's healthy. So, yeah, that's life as it is now, you know. I'll catch back up with you guys. Hopefully later tonight if I don't get too tired and we get to go home tomorrow and I'm so excited.